Hello, my name is Martin from Revelation Software and I'd like to welcome you to this video presentation during which we will look at the use of dashboards within Open Insight. More specifically, the use of the Sierra Bravo dashboard that ships with Open Insight version 9. During this video, I will refer to the Sierra Bravo dashboard simply as the Bravo dashboard. The complete presentation will be split into two parts. The first video will consist of a PowerPoint presentation during which we will learn a little more about dashboards, their uses, and why Revelation have chosen the Bravo dashboard for Open Insight. During the second video, we will look at what is involved in setting up Open Insight to use the Bravo dashboard and then working with the dashboard itself. The idea of using digital dashboards came out of a decision support system study carried out in the 1970s. The take-up of web-based technologies throughout the 1990s began to see business making more use of dashboards and as graphic representation improved they became more versatile and powerful and they continue to be improved today. If you google for dashboards you'll find plenty of people offering their ideas in a licensed product from free system like Bravos to fully featured systems with complex drill down capabilities costing thousands to license and maintain. Even within the multi-value market we have choices. Some that come to mind are My Viewpoint from EDP, MITS Discover from MITS and of course Bravo's dashboard which is now included with Open Insight version 9. In short, dashboards monitor selection of data metrics and provide that in bite-sized chunks of information. Through widgets these provide users with a snapshot of important data such as key performance indicators, balanced scorecards and sales performance figures. The key is that the data is relevant to the user and easily assimilated without the need to run, print and study complex reports. For example, a sales manager might have a few gadgets that show their team's weekly, monthly and quarterly results, plus a list of clients nearing their credit limit or whose purchases are down and might therefore have moved away and are currently buying from another supplier. Another simplistic example might be a managing director or CEO who needs to know the current cash flow position within his organisation, stock information, regional sales performance indicators, etc. All with current data. Dashboards are now frequently used to provide this snapshot of information to users right on the desktop. This information is provided through the use of small but very visual tables and charts with drill down capability in some of the premium solutions. In addition, gauges, traffic lights and the like are frequently used to give visual warnings of limits being reached. For instance, you might get a green light if you're doing well with your sales target, a yellow light if there is reason for concern, and a red light if you've fallen behind a set limit and there's um, obviously reason for concern. In this last example, a sales manager could have a series of traffic lights for his dozen or so field, field sales staff. At a simple glance he can immediately see who to call and who to leave in peace. So what are the benefits of dashboards? The benefits to using dashboards are broad and usually business or user specific. However some of the more widely recognised benefits include the ability to instantly gain a visual representation of your performance indicators and then the ability to identify and correct any negative trends. Also the ability to measure inefficiencies and efficiencies at a glance or drill down for more detailed information. They also enable you to quickly make more informed decisions based on your collective business intelligence without the need to spend hours poring over large detailed reports. They also enable you to align strategies and organisational goals in a more timely manner based on current and changing trends. So why have Revelation decided to include Bravo's dashboard in Open Insight version 9? Quite simply because it is extremely easy to use, for instance a graph widget can be created in as little as 30 or so lines of code, and also because it is free to license. This enables Open Insight developers to easily include it with their solutions. In addition, the Bravo dashboard has a good reputation within the multi-value marketplace and it supports what most people need for the, from their first steps into using dashboard technology. Bravo's dashboard technology is similar to most others in that it uses a collection of widgets to display data on the user's screen. These widgets can be grouped together on a single page or multiple pages to create simple or complex user-defined dashboards. However, it is a technology that is written specifically for the multi-value marketplace. For instance, in our case, 
the widget routines are actually created in Open Insight using the system editor and they therefore simply become an extension of your existing application. The product includes a web-based administration module that is used to manage user accounts and the widgets themselves. This area enables users to create their personal dashboards by simply defining the dashboard, adding pre-written widgets, usually created by uh, your developer, to the user's requirements, and then setting the sort or display order. There is a library of widgets which can be created and then users can be assigned access to them as needed. If no restriction is needed, then the user access is left blank and everyone gets access to the dashboard. Add one or more user IDs and only those defined users can use the widget. The Bravo dashboard supports a number of widget styles including tabular data, bar charts and pie charts, free text and HTML text. Many of these can include user interaction, such as choosing the size of a bar graph, or popping out a slice and a pie chart by simply running the mouse over the required slice and clicking it. The widgets are usually created by OpenSight developers using a familiar system editor, so they're nice and easy. You can get further information about using the Bravo dashboard in OpenInsight 9 from within OpenInsight itself. The various documentation includes the quick start guide available from your OpenInsight root folder and also the Bravo dashboard programmers guide which is available from the BD board folder within the folder where you installed OpenInsight. OK, so let's uh, have a look at using Bravo's dashboard in OpenInsight which we'll cover in the next video.